if my uh, gut flora is out of balance, if, I, if, I, if my gut's not healthy, how do I know? How, do, how can people recognize that as a, as a problem? Well, for some people, it's if on symptoms, they would have uh, some bloating and gas and abdominal pain, and others it would be diarrhea, others perhaps constipation. But based on symptoms, there are some imbalances that can be first signs or first clues that there's an imbalance. But unfortunately, there's many people who have systemic illnesses and don't really know that they have a, an imbalance in their gut, and they, they come up with all different types of problems uh, related to it. So it, it, it's a challenge uh, to diagnose at times. And talk a little bit more about that. If, if our gut's not healthy, that affects our immune system, which obviously can affect a wide range of things. Can it? So it's, it's a serious issue. Yes, ab absolutely. But even to allergic conditions uh, can happen. Uh, for example, asthma and allergies and eczema have been all tied to distortions in the, uh, the gut microbiome environment. But things such as autism has been tied to it, behavioral problems, uh, depression, anxiety. There, there's a bimodal communication from, with the gut with all types of processes and systems uh, through hormones, through biochemicals. Uh, it's, we're learning more and more uh, with each passing day of the uh, importance of the gut and how it can impact uh, overall health.